Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we'll be covering another spectacular synergy, this time focusing on Relentless Gaze of the Sun and Fractured Days Split the Sky. Now, this synergy is a lot more basic than you may think. Um, we're not doing anything very crazy. It's very um, standard fractured slips, but it has a very interesting interaction with Relentless Gaze. So, Relentless Gaze says, um, after using a power card, if you had at least three presents in the origin land, you may repeat it any number of times on the same target land, ignoring origin, range, and targeting requirements by paying the energy cost of the power and one energy per previous use of the power this turn. So this special rule in a land with three presents allows you to repeat cards multiple times in the same land. An example would be if I had Focus the Sun's Rays, and it looked something like this. I'd be able to use it there. I then can pay an energy to repeat it, pay two energy to repeat it, and so forth. Now, what Fracture does to this combo is Fracture's left a date, which says to slip the flow of time. It says you may use this power any number of times. Cost to use is one time per previous use. Target Spirit may make one slow power fast, or I guess it says resolve one slow power. Target spirit may reclaim one power card from their discard or played cards. And finally, target spirit may play a power card by paying its power cost. This allows you to um, have a spirit reclaim a card and then put it into play. So with, Re with Relentless Gaze, if they're playing, let's say, Focus the Sun's Rays, and let's say they played it once, let's say it looked like this, and they repeated it once, so now Fractured can actually slip this card. It would go back into the uh, it would go right back into the hand, and then it would go back into play. That would be one slip. Well, now this card counts as a new use of the card. That means if Relentless Gaze decides to repeat it, well, it would only cost one energy to do that first repeat and not two. Essentially, slipping the card it resets the repeat counter. In addition, it allows Relentless Gaze to play this card in a different land. So it's a very, very cool interaction. Um, the reason why I'm bringing up this combo is because now you have a card like Blinding Glare, where when you have it thresholded, it gets you three fear. Well, now Gaze, let's say Gaze repeats it once and then repeats it twice. So you're looking at, after two repeats, you're looking at nine fear at the cost of two energy, which is very reasonable. But now, one fractured slip resets the whole counter, which means every fractured slip on Blinding Glare will give us 9 fear. So we're talking a fractured slip plus 2 energy, 9 fear. And um, sometimes fractured can give out up to 3, 4 slips in a single turn. Well now, if you have 4 slips and 2 energy, so now if Gaze has 8 energy, 4 slips, um, that would be, what is that, 36 fear in a single turn, right? Because you would get each each instance of slipping this card will give you um, nine fear. It'd be um, four slips times nine, giving us 36. Um, and if that is in a two player game, I mean, the fear deck is what only eight, uh, eight fear against most adversaries. I guess we're playing England, so it's a little bit different. But um, like that is insane. That is like what, four fear cards in a single turn. Of course, that costs you eight energy and four slips. But um, the fact that you can do some crazy powerful um, maneuvers like that is pretty awesome. In addition, Relentless Gaze tends to have um, very low amount of card plays in the early game, especially if they decide to go um, for that top track, and Fractured can allow Gaze to play extra cards in the early game um, instead of doing like the uh, the crazy repeat slips nonsense. You could instead, like maybe Fractured's playing, um, or Gaze is playing Focused, and then Fractured slips in um, Withered Bodies on turn two, or something like that. Um, and then Relentless Gaze can keep going top track, while Fractured Days is essentially giving them extra plays. So, some really cool um, interactions between these two spirits. Um, it's not like this, this interaction is going to completely bust the game in half, um, but I do think there is quite a lot of synergy with resetting that repeat counter. If you like this video, like, subscribe for more content. I will see you guys in the next video.